hey guys welcome back to my channel Claudie cooks today we're going to do some pan fried lamb chops spiced with the flavors of the caribbean are you ready for it i know you are but before i make this marinade right i will need to move this out of the way and in this bowl here i've got two grated cloves of garlic and to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil and I've got some jerk seasoning and I've also have here some green seasoning and we'll put in about a tablespoon a teaspoon and a half To that we're going to add some more fresh thyme and that's a teaspoon of fresh thyme some lemon juice we're going to add some all-purpose seasoning for extra flavor because we're talking about flavors from the Caribbean here so that's a teaspoon and to that we're going to add some black pepper just half a teaspoon there and about a quarter teaspoon of tamarind paste we're going to give that a little mix we need to have a bit of work out so why not doing it whilst we cook It smells so good. Next up, we're going to bring back the star of the show here, our lamb chops. I've washed, cleaned and pat dry. My lamb chops are ready. This is about 600 grams of lamb chops there. I'm going to sprinkle some salt and this is sea salt. I'm just going to turn them over and then we're going to put some more salt on it. Right and again you season to your taste okay because we're trying to not use too much salt in our cooking so we can stay healthy and well let's spice these babies up right here we go you want some flavor here you have it right we put in half of it yes let's massage all these wonderful flavors of the Caribbean into these chops because we want our chops to taste delicious we're not about bland taste over here. We love our flavors. Yes. I've turned these over. Now I'm going to put the rest of the marinade the next side. I'm going to massage this all in. Once we've finished massaging it all in really well, we're going to cover it. And I'm going to put this in the fridge for about an hour because I don't have very much time today. Overnight would be even better, but it's still going to taste absolutely amazing that you can be sure of. I can't believe I'd, I forgot to put on my onion and garlic granules onto this. So flip them over on the other side and now I'm adding the rest of the garlic granules onion granules to that then I've taken off my gloves already so I'm just going to use fork and press it in and time for it to go sit in the fridge for an hour and we'll be back when I'm frying them are we ready to pan fry those delicious flavoursome Caribbean lamb chops? 
I've already heated the pan and I'm using beef drippings but you can use any high temperature oil you want but I've chosen not to use olive oil looking hard now but it's good for the seasoning of the lemon and you can put a nice colour on them and I'm going to let those cook for another three to four minutes. Once these are finished I will do the next batch and once that is finished then I will come back. Right here you have it I'll fry them all of them and I've turned them back to the pan and all the juices um, that I collected from the meat um, once I've placed them on the plate I've now put that juice back in the pan and that, um, that is what I've been using to spoon over these delicious chops so once I'm serving up I will get back and show you what I'm serving these beautiful lamb chops with today and there you have it guys, my pan fried lamb chops flavoured with Caribbean spices. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? This is what I'm serving mine with, my lamb chops. I've got couscous cooked in chicken stock flavoring of the Caribbean. I've got some carrots, some broccoli and I've got some whipped feta and Greek yogurt and a bit of spice in that as well. But it's also cooling for the spices and these delicious lamb chops. I'm going to take a bite and let you see. Look at that. Yummy.